So one question we get frequently is, calibrating in a dangerous area or an explosive area, how do we do that safer? So one example of a dangerous environment is there's a brewery in Colorado that uses grain. So grain is part of making beer. But to get the grain from the, the train cars into the area where they can process it, they first move it to a storage silo. And in that silo, as you're pouring the grain down, you get the particulates of the grain floating around in the atmosphere, and it's very explosive. And there, you have to make sure not to bring a calibrator or an electronic device that can create a spark to ignite. Even hand tools, hand tools that contain iron can cause a spark. And so they use non-ferrous, which means no iron in the tools. And examples of that are brass or bronze, so that if you take the tool, you go to turn a nut, you don't accidentally bump into it and create a spark. Right. So another way to work around not having the correct calibrator or tools rating is to use what's called a sniffer. Ah, like a beagle. <laughs> no, not a beagle. It's a gas analyzer and you would use a tool that matches the gases that might be present in your work environment, in your right. process. So you would go around and uh, make sure the area is clear. And once you've detected that nothing dangerous is present, then it allows the work people to come in and, and open things up and begin their calibrations. Okay, and one thing to mention with that, if you do have to use a sniffer, that starts with a hot work permit. And to do that, it creates paperwork that you start and you have to wait till it right. gets blessed or stamped or approved. And that can frequently take two to four hours to happen. So you're being delayed from the start. So to avoid having to do a hot work permit and avoid having to use a sniffer to see if it's safe, use an intrinsically safe calibrator. Yeah.